Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs and for this review, we are looking at Hasbro's Power Rangers Lightning Collection Lord Zed figure, which is maybe the most impressive figure Hasbro's released ever. Maybe not the most, but it's it's definitely up there. It's um it's not perfect, but boy, there's a lot to like about this figure. And it's clearly a unique sculpt. I don't think they're going to be using any unskinned people figure molds anytime soon. So this is this is something. This is something to talk about. It's 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 very unique. I I don't know. I was not expecting Hasbro to do this. I don't get it. It's very strange. Very strange. So let's go ahead and get him off the stand and take a closer look. And this guy stands just about to the top of his head, not the little Z thingy, about six and three quarter inches, a little shy of that. And that's gonna make him pretty close to 17 and a half centimeters. Just for quick comparison to your standard Marvel Legends figure, basically the same size. So probably good for him. I don't know if the Power Rangers are the exact same size as him. I have White Ranger to compare. Actually, I have the rest of them. But uh, he's slightly out of 112 scale, unless Lord Zed's supposed to be that tall, but I don't think he really is. Anyway, goodness, look at the sculpt on this guy. It is really, really good. I mean, there's a lot of fake anatomy on this guy, which is how it's supposed to look. I mean, it's, it's mostly real anatomy, but it's also exaggerated and kind of creepy looking. But they did a really good job with it. They added the armor on top of everything except for the collarbone and a few places throughout. But that's okay. That's to be expected. And they did a really good job painting it where it needed to be painted and molding it where it needed to be molded. So that's awesome. Uh, it is covered in wash, except for the brain, his hips, and his back, that's that's really annoying that they didn't do that. It's not that you're gonna look at his back very often, but the hips do stand out a little bit, so that's a little bit of a bummer. But then we do also have the translucent blue tubing, which is translucent blue tubing. And, I mean, it's a little extended, probably, and maybe a little bit loose, but that's just so that you can pose the guy without having any trouble, so that's okay. And then the face, it's a really nice sculpt. I do wish the visor was painted better. But otherwise, it's it's pretty good. Could he be a little brighter, maybe, for the face and for the body? Yeah, maybe. But overall, it's really good. They missed some paint on the fingers, but that's about it. It's a really, really strong-looking figure. I mean, they did a good job, a really, really good job with this guy. So aesthetically speaking, this guy gets a 9 out of 10. It could have been so much worse, and it is really, really good. They, they really did a good job with it. Very pleased with that. As far as accessories go, we do have his staff, which is not particularly metallic, that's kind of a bummer. But we do have it. We have some lightning to go on top of it, which is just recolored lightning from a Thor Marvel Legends figure. And then we get his little ball thingy that he throws, which is nicely done, nice and silver. That's what the staff should look like. And then we have some hands. We have a gripping hand for his staff for the right side, then we have a gripping hand for his little ball thingy, and on the left side we have a gripping hand for his little ball thingy and a fist. So not a ton of accessories, but definitely enough. So eight out of 10 for that, that's pretty good. And now it's time to talk about the articulation which is kind of unique, fairly unique for this guy. Not, not exceptionally unique, but it is a little bit. So the head is on your Marvel Legends type of hinge with a ball peg on top. So it does move pretty well. They sculpted his head a little bit weird so that I guess you get better range, but it also looks a little potato-y in the back, but I, maybe that's how it was. I don't really remember looking at the back of his head very much, so no big deal, but it does work well. Just be careful because if you pose it just right, you're gonna get a big lumpy potato sticking off the back of his head. So bring that forward and you'll be okay. For the shoulders, we have a butterfly joint, which works really nicely. Very good joint right there. I like that a bunch. Then we have your standard ball hinge, which is a little tricky to move, but it does move and you get better than horizontal. Very, very nicely done. Very organic looking, the placement of that. I like it. And of course it does rotate all the way around though you will be limited to some extent, not a lot. It does reach by that tuber. So then we also have our bicep swivel, which works no problem. The tubers don't really get in the way of that. Double jointed elbow, a little bit better than 90. Not great range, but probably good enough. And then you have your wrist swivel and a hinge. Does bum me out. His staff holding hand has a horizontal hinge instead of a vertical hinge, which is useless. If you're gonna put a hinge in it anyway, make it the right kind. So that he can actually hold the staff properly. That drives me nuts. There's no reason to do that, but it's not a big deal. 
Then we have a diaphragm joint, which is just a perfect example of how to do a diaphragm joint. Other than not having any sculpt or anything on the inside, it still works really well. They did a great job with that diaphragm joint. Then we have the reverse ab crunch, which is definitely not an ideal situation. Uh, especially since leaning in back is... I don't know if it even can go. It feels like it can, but these guys are going to stretch, so I'm not going to screw with it. It does go forward though, which is fine. It's very ugly in the back, but it does lean forward. No waist twist, so it's going to be very hard to put him in like a leaning to the side type of pose, but because the diaphragm joint is exceptionally good, I will give it to him this time. It's still not the best combination, but if you give a good enough diaphragm joint, you almost don't need anything else, so that, that will make up for it, so I'm very pleased with that. For the hips, they do go out to the side pretty far, like surprisingly far that's really nice you can bring the legs not all the way forward but far enough I mean that's okay he doesn't need to do any high kicks doesn't go back at all thigh swivel is there it's nice it's hidden by this leg armor kind of so that's pretty cool double jointed knee uh, yeah it works it's a little cumbersome but it does work a little better than 90 and then for the ankle you can bring it forward some not a lot not very much at all because they have this armor here and it doesn't really go back that far either unless you stretch it over then it does and that's fine and then you get a, an ankle swivel a swivel hinge ankle rocker which is good so yeah he's not perfect by any means but damn for a 20 dollars figure this thing is impressive really really impressive and i love it i i am very very pleased with this so articulation wise i'm gonna give it only a, a nine nine do we want to do nine uh i'm gonna go eight and a half eight and a half because of the ankle not being able to go forward and the hips are loose but that's still really really good articulation in a lot of ways so very very well executed overall verdict on this guy nine out of ten easy definitely some room for improvement but holy crap did anybody expect hasbro to do a good job like this i don't think so let's see if they maintain it or if we just got a good first wave to get people into the line we'll see i hope they keep it going because this is superb i love it and i think you will too so there it is guys thanks for watching make sure you subscribe to the channel i do have new videos out just about every single day and i also have like i don't know three thousand other videos on the channel for you to check out so make sure you do that come back for all that good stuff and in the meantime keep collecting